I don't know how many of you saw yesterday on Twitter this big debate that erupted over interns. And I try not to get that focused on interns and internships and everything else, but it is a story that is worth following. Jane Slater, who is an NFL Network uh, employee, decided to post on Twitter that she was, uh, I posted an opportunity, I'm reading from her tweet, I posted an opportunity for an unpaid internship and I'm amazed the comments I get. It's not even for me, it's for someone else and I would have jumped at it in college. I had three unpaid internships in school, double majored and had a job, shaking my head. All right, that's what Jane Slater tweeted out. People immediately lost their minds uh, and started to attack her because she could afford to have an internship. Uh, All right, so Jane Slater is getting absolutely destroyed. The blue checkmark brigade is absolutely losing their minds. And Jane uh, eventually uh, said, hey, you know what? I took internships. I think they were uh, they were valuable. I think she said her first two jobs paid sixteen thousand five hundred dollars, and then people started going into her background and said, "Oh, your grandfather helped you pay for college, and so as a result, you don't even know all the privilege that you have." This is what happens with blue check mark Twitter. It is an absolute cesspool. Let me just say this. When I used to do radio, and by the way, the people who are attacking her are saying, you need to, there should be no such thing as unpaid internships. Everybody should be able to get paid for their work because some people don't have the money to be able to take an unpaid internship. And so uh, the companies or wherever you're working should be paying you. And I'll just tell you this, most 20 and 21 and 22 year olds aren't worth salary work. They just aren't. And they're not going to get paid. Those jobs aren't going to exist. And I'll give you an example. When I used to do local radio, we had every year a guy and a girl intern. During the summer, they could get credit for it, college internships. And I said, hey, you know what? We've got this daily radio show I think that they can learn uh, some valuable lessons about how radio works. They're not really going to add a tremendous amount to the overall show, but I would like for us to be able to give back and let kids come in here and try to learn a little bit about how radio works. We'll show them how a show gets put together. I think that is an invaluable experience. Then there was, later on, a lawsuit filed against the company for having unpaid interns, saying you should be paying these people, and now internships don't exist at my old radio station. And they aren't paying people to do those jobs. So I'm just, I can't speak for every profession out there, but I worked as an intern on Capitol Hill. They couldn't have afforded to pay me to do what I did on Capitol Hill. I really don't believe either. It was an invaluable experience. I also had a full-time job, basically while I was in college, or close to full-time. I worked that job while also being an intern. When I started in sports media, I wrote, for free for CBS Sports, which is a pretty big company. Because I didn't have a resume that justified me being paid to do the work that I was doing. I was eventually pretty good at it. Became one of the most read columnists at CBSSports.com before I left. But if I had demanded pay for my work when I started... I don't think that I would be talking to you right now. I wrote my columns and did that 
while working full-time as a lawyer because I wanted to be able to find a way to one day work in sports media. My point on this is pretty strong, I think. If you want to work in sports, it is wildly competitive. You either are going to be paid almost nothing or you're going to have to work basically for free and work another job in order to do this one. The idea that you should be paid to do a job that there is great demand for that you don't know how to do is actually limiting your ability to get a job in sports. And I tell this to kids all the time. If you're worried about what the salary is going to be at your first job, you are probably not going to be in a very competitive business. Go listen to all the wins and losses conversations that I have on a regular basis. So many of those conversations are about how low the salaries are for many coaches that you know today who now make millions of dollars. I worked for years before I made anything in sports. Even after writing for years, I was making a hundred dollars a week for after writing for years this idea that you should be ripping someone in sports media like Jane Slater because she's trying to give people an opportunity to get their foot in the door and prove they can do this job I just have seen it people are like well you should be paying interns they're not worth money It's actually a benefit that you're getting. At my old job, they don't even have interns anymore because of a lawsuit. And as a result, they were like, okay, we're not going to hire these interns. We're not paying them. They're not making us money. We're just not going to have internships anymore. And unfortunately, that is what I think is going to happen lots of places when you're running around saying, oh, you should be paying full salary for my work. No, I shouldn't. If you're 20 or 21 or 22, it actually takes me more time if you think you're helping me. If I had an intern right now, I would spend more time training them than I would getting any help from them. I know because I've done it. I love doing it. I love giving the opportunity, but you're not worth being paid to do it. You got to do the internship and also find a job somewhere else that can pay the bills. And if you're not willing to do that, that's fine. There are lots of people who are. 